Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I've done a video. It's been raining here in George and uh, it's been cold and wet. Uh, couldn't get to the range. So I thought I'd do a, a video um, on annealing of cases. Uh, I had a couple of friends asking about um, annealing and the process that I follow and what to do. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of how I do it. Uh, maybe it works for you, um, go and test it. If it works, great. Uh, I've had good results with it. Um, so yeah, I have a 306 case here. And I think the first thing to, to look at when annealing cases would be typically, why do you want to do it? Why do you want to invest in some equipment uh, to anneal your cases? Now, um, with brass, um, when you fire brass, uh, obviously it gets heated. It expands in your chamber and uh, it stretches. Then you put it in your dies and you resize it and you crimp it. Then you put it back into uh, your gun and you shoot it. It gets heated up, it expands, the brass works. And over time, it's typically like you take a piece of wire and you start bending it over and over and over. And what happens is uh, it snaps right at that point. So the first thing for me, annealing brass is just extending the case life. Um, yeah, so th that's a big thing for me. So when you resize, when you fire it and you use it, it, it just gives you so much more life out of cases. Um, this is a Hornady case and this specific batch that I have, uh, I've reloaded it maybe eight or nine times already uh, and it still looks like new. Um, it, it hardly seems like it's been working at all. Uh, and I've, it, you know, getting 15, 16 reloads out of a case uh, before I can actually start seeing uh, typical uh, brass wear uh, is nothing uncommon. So um, I think that's a big plus for me. Um, now, what happens when you anneal a case is you just at the, a microscopic level or a structural level reset the brass back to to its original form so um like i said thinking about that little wire that you're bending the whole time until it snaps uh, it becomes brittle so i anneal every time it's just part of my case, case prep uh, process and uh, it, it works typically well for me um so yeah uh, do you have to drop it in water or just heat it up and leave it um, it doesn't matter. For me, typically, when I anneal, I like to drop it in water um, and it just arrests the heat so that it doesn't go down too far into the case. Typically, when you anneal, you want to have the flame or the heat source uh, angled uh, at uh, at least 30 to 45 degrees um, to the, the case neck and you want to aim the flame right here at the case neck. And you only want to heat up this part here right under till under the shoulder. And as soon as that happens, you I want to rapidly cool it down. Now with brass, it's not the same as with any other type of metal. Um, typically, it doesn't matter if you just leave it and let it cool down by itself. Or if you drop it in water, it's not going to temper it. It only arrests the, the heat. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's basically... Uh, what you want to do, you want to have the flame angled at a 30 to 45 degree angle to the, the neck and shoulder. You only want to heat up this bit up, up here until the heat travels right down the shoulder up until year about. And that's it. You don't want to heat up anything else because this is the part uh, that we're annealing. You could make the brass so soft if you heat it up right up in here until the bottom that, that you get failure uh, or catastrophic failure of the brass case head separation and things like that that you want, typically don't want. So you also don't want to point the heat source into the mouth of the case, um, heating up the inside or right down here to the bottom. You don't want that, so you want it at an angle. Now there's a, a bunch of machines uh, on the market that does this uh, for you. Uh, you get conductive uh, heat uh, annealers where uh, through um, kind of microwave and magnetism I think. Uh, it heats up the, the case neck for you. Um, 
you can get flame sources that heats it up so there, there's typical different types of things the cheapest one i found is um at like you have i know the guys in america have a dollar store yeah we go in south africa we go to the china mall and uh, you can get yourself just a socket like this and the socket adapter that i can put into a hand drill you can use any type of drill and a 12 millimeter or half inch socket typically works for your 50 calibers like 306 308 7 by 57 and, and those ones and uh, yeah it, it sits right in there like you see and i got this for about three and a half dollars or 50 rand uh, in south africa and uh, you can uh, get this part now and you get different types of sockets or sizes and you can uh, use this for any type of uh, case anything from a, a triple two 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 three right up to the big ones depending on the size of the socket um, then at the supermarket you can buy uh, this uh, uh, gas and this uh, blowtorch bit um, the gas bottles normally go for about three dollars here in south africa 50 bucks and this blowtorch uh, at the top here, um, 80 rand, 90 rand, uh, let's say about $5 uh, there in America. Um, but yeah, and the only thing that you need to do then is, uh, for me, uh, you can heat it up and uh, you drop it into a little bit of water just to arrest the heat. Um, you can angle it. Like I said, so you'll have a good angle here, and I'll show you guys a little later now. Um, then a very difficult thing to come by here in South Africa, um, but you know, also very expensive is Tempelac. Tempelac uh, the skull is at different heats, um, and if you can get some of that, it's good because you can time on your cell phone. You can use a, a timer. Um, how long it takes to discolor and then you know that's the uh, amount of time that you typically need your uh, your uh, case into the fire uh, to, to heat it up sufficiently to anneal it uh, for me um, <laughs> I found another way uh, I typically just go into a dark room um, so where I can see uh, the the case neck right here the color from uh, an orange red uh, glowing then I know it's it's typically warm enough and you'll see that the heat travels it makes the case nice and silver up until about here and then you know it's sufficient and you just do a timer uh, you can get a nice interval timer on your cell phone I'll put in a screenshot for you guys so you can see typically how that looks um, but the CrossFit guys <laughs> you'll know what I talk about and um, yeah, so you just ask your CrossFit buddies what apps they use for the interval timers. Um, but it's, it's just something that um, you just get the app, interval timer app. You uh, establish how long it takes to heat up the case enough. Um, that's the time. You put in the amounts of uh, the sets with the op obviously the amount of cases that you want to anneal. And you have a rest period in between. That's typically the time that it will take you to drop one case into the water, get another one, load it in, and put it in the flame. Normally, that's about four or five seconds. Now, I haven't um, ever, for my calibers that I reload, um, 303 Brit, triple two, uh, Remington, 306, 308 to 70. Uh, that's kind of the, the calibers that I reload for. Um, I, I've never had to uh, put a case in... Uh, for more uh, on a single flame for more than nine to ten seconds uh, now um, that that's more than enough uh, there's a video I know that Eric Cortana did uh, on over annealing um, and that's typically um, yeah some results there you guys can go and check it out um, but yeah this is this is the way I do it um, as a, a pauper or a armhat yachter um, yeah so Go and try it out see if it works for you it works for me um yeah so that's that's basically it another thing to to have a look out for i'll show you in the video is just the flame the colors uh from blue touching the the case to a nice um red orange uh flowing from the case and then you know as soon as the flame changes color uh, it's also sufficiently annealed
but uh, let's get into that and I'll show you the different uh, setups I have. Obviously the cheap one um, is the grill and then I have uh, this flame on annealing system which is just a wheel with uh, holes pegged into it uh, where you can put your cases and you have uh, two different uh, flames um, and it, it goes very quick um, and you just put the the case right in the middle of the two flames touching it eats it up very quickly and it falls into the water and arrests the heat now um, case prep before annealing I'd like to put all of my cases through um, just a universal deep primer I don't want to work the brass before annealing at all otherwise it would kind of defeat the purpose um, so yeah uh, you put it through a universal deep primer deep prime it um, you don't really have to clean it what I typically do is the, the brass is already wet uh, dropping into the water just to arrest that heat um, I then from there throw it into the wet tumbler and clean it up um, or just you know a solution of uh, soap and citric and tartaric acid and it cleans up the brass before I throw it into uh, my layman uh, dry tumbler um, just polish the brass up uh, as soon as it's nice uh, clean and polished uh, I do my sizing from there and uh, then obviously the rest of the steps so that's basically it guys let me show you uh, how I knew Okay, so uh, you have got the flame on and you'll see uh, the blue flame, that's where we're aiming. What we want to typically do is put your brass at a, a pretty uh, steep angle to that, maybe 30 to 45 degrees. Now, don't want to have heat come into the case like that. Uh, you typically just want it r concentrated right there at the shoulder. Okay, now um, I've already loaded up one case here into uh, the hand uh, drill and I'm gonna just quickly show you how to kind of gauge when it's, it's uh, done so I'll just spin it lightly I'll concentrate the heat source right there at the point of the case and that's it see the flame changed color there uh, that's typically what you want to see maybe just open it up a little bit more so you can see it better here you see the flame right there at the top becomes orange you see the case starting to glow uh, reddish and now I know that the heat is right and I just throw it into the water to arrest the heat and then typically how you know that uh, you've annealed correctly here's uh, some brass that I have already annealed you'll see that the heat just carried until just right at the shoulder not, not a, a lot further than that let's maybe just do another one quickly so I'll aim it at an angle at the flame start spinning it slowly Heat it up. See the flame starting to change color. I see that the case neck is glowing red. I see the heat traveling right down below the shoulder. And that's enough. Okay. So this is a good example. You can see that the heat actually traveled nice and down just below the shoulder. It could have been a little higher up, but. Uh, that's that doesn't matter you can if you want to see nice and consistent result just use that interval timer but for this video I kind of need uh, both my hands so uh, yeah you can see the the case has been annealed right up until there and this is typically the working part of it let me show you my flame on system and how that works okay so here is my flame on system uh, two blow torches uh, at an angle you see and when I turn this little wheel here, it uh, gets the case neck right into the heat source um, at an angle. And uh, you'll see how quickly it goes. Here you see the color change. 
the heat goes down, drop it in the water. Next one, getting warm. The flame changes color. I see the case neck glowing. The heat travels right below the shoulder and I drop it in. And that's all you need to do. Um, with this flame on system, uh, it goes a little quicker. Uh, and I mean, the results speak for itself. Uh, this is a good annealed case. Uh, the heat has traveled just below the shoulder. And typically from here I go and wash the brass and uh, clean it up nicely, polish it in the, the tumbler. Uh, but that's kind of what you want to see happening. So it's not rocket science. It definitely will extend your case life. Uh, it will give you good consistency in your brass. Um, you know, I think the benefits outweigh uh, anything else. Uh, if you want a, a cheap setup uh, just to get going, uh, what you want to do is, if you tip it, you can use any type of drill or electric screwdriver. Uh, the socket bits that you buy uh, looks like this. Uh, it's nice and cheap with the socket adapter uh, that goes in here. Uh, 12, like I said, a, a, a half an inch or a uh, 12 millimeter socket works well for, for 40, 306 cases and 308 cases. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. Great. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know what else you want to see. And remember to hit that like and subscribe button uh, to keep the content coming. Thanks. See you next time.